The following videotape is a demonstration of laparoscopic artificial insemination in the U. The U is first placed in a cradle in a dorsal recumbent position. The belly is then sheared entirely. Following the shearing of that belly, a betadine scrub is used to clean off all dirt and foreign materials. Wipe down completely with paper towels to remove any liquid and dry the area. And an alcohol solution is used to disinfect the entire area. Two subcutaneous injections of lidocaine are made on each side of the midline to deaden the area. Following is a scalpel incision just through the skin. Here is a close-up of those incisions. A large gauge needle is then punched through the abdominal wall with CO2 gas filling the abdominal cavity to move the abdominal wall away from the internal organs. Two trocars are then used to push through the abdominal wall into the body cavity. The first trocar is used to house the laparoscope. The second is used to manipulate the uterus and uterine horns in place for insemination. The laparoscope is then pushed through the first trocar while the second trocar is used to manipulate the uterine horns into position for insemination. Following the positioning of the uterine horn, the trocar is removed, the second trocar is removed, and an insemination pipette is placed through the trocar and semen is injected into the uterine horn itself. This is a laparoscopic view of the uterine horn manipulated into position. Pipette is then punched through into the lumen of the uterine horn and you can see the white semen then moving out of the pipette and into the uterine horn for an insemination. Following the completion of insemination, the inseminator will look for the ovary to determine follicular development. The bright red circular structure is the follicle, which is coming into view right now. Following the completion of AI, the two trocars are then removed from the body cavity. Antibiotic and surgical glue are then applied to the incision sites and if the ovulation as determined by follicular size is not within 12 hours, a IV injection of GnRH is given to accelerate the time of ovulation.